It's the weekly reset, so we're going to go over the milestones, a little bit of news, as well as what is available this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up, guys? Reckless here, and welcome to Guardian Watcher. As you can see, I got my boy D Spikes here, and it is the weekly reset, so we're going to go over the milestones first. So, first off, we have IO. We have a uh, Daily Heroic to complete, as well as the Flashpoint. This week is on IO. If you do the heroic versions of this, then you can get it done a lot faster. Next, we have the Vanguard. We have your uh, weekly mission, which you need to complete three daily story missions, as well as your weekly strikes, and you need to complete three uh, strikes. And then we have the Nightfall, which you need to either complete the well, you need to complete the Nightfall, as well as get a score of one hundred and thousand. Uh, the Nightfalls this week that are available are the Corrupted, the Inverted Spire, as well as Strange Terrain. However. We do have uh, Void Singe, as well as Glass, and then we have Heavyweight. Next on our list is Gambit. Whoops, sorry. Gambit, and then you need to complete one Gambit match, as well as uh, three matches for the weekly. Also, it is being said that the Malfacen's Quest is dropping in Gambit as RNG. So definitely go ahead and uh, try to get that. Now, RNG definitely does not guarantee you're going to get it automatically. So be patient with it. Then we have Crucible. We have your weekly, which you need to complete five uh, Crucible matches. And that's just complete. You don't have to win. And that goes for any Crucible uh, node except for private matches. And last but not least, we have the Dreaming City. And for here, you need to complete uh, weekly bounties. And that is two of them. As well as we have this wonderful Dark Monastery uh, quest here for it. I greatly apologize. We also do have the weekly challenges for Ikora, which you need to complete 20 bounties of any kind. As well as the clan rewards, which you earn 5,000 XP for your clan. And I greatly apologize for forgetting those. So, let's see what Tess Everest has at Eververse this week. Welcome, Guardian. Starting with the emotes, we have the poultry petting. So, you get to pet your chicken this week. Yeah! I ended up getting mine actually the very first week. It's a pretty cool emote. I like it. Then we have the... Awaken the Warmind. This is from obviously the Warmind DLC, so it's not a new exotic or not a new uh, emote, sorry. Then we have your vehicles Majuscal Tide. Looks decent, I guess. As well as the Luna Dove. Or Dove. Sorry. And both of those come with random rolls. And then for your ships, we have the Tempersons Moon, as well as the Jade Worm. I can't even pronounce that uh, Roman numeral, so I'm not even gonna try it. For sure, uh, ghost shells, we have the Chevron shell, and your ghost shells do come with random rolls, as well as the uh, Triumphal shell. And for the Hunter, we get the War Painted Ornament for the Foe Tracer. Looks pretty cool. As, ooh. Sorry. <laughs> for the Ornament for the Tractor Cannon, we get the Machinist Trove. This is definitely an ornament I do not have, and I'm probably going to get it for my uh, Tractor Cannon. Actually, better yet, let's go ahead and buy that right now. And then we have the Silver Bullet for the Crimson. Looks pretty nice. Then we have your uh, Fallen Arrival Transmat Effects. As well as the Pink Class Sigil. 
As for your shaders, we have the 44 Steel, as well as the Bumblebee. And then rounding out everything, we have your boons. So, as you guys can see, we are at the Dreaming City, and Petra has changed her location again for the third time since Forsaken has actually launched. Yes, and she is at Ray Sylvia, and you definitely want to go ahead and check out what bounties that she has, because it is actually important this week. As for her pursuits, we have the Dark Monastery, the War of the Dreaming City, Ascendant Challenge, as well as Gateway Between Worlds, and it is said that... If you finish Gateway Between Worlds and actually present the offering to the Oracle, you will get your third Seed of Light. So definitely go ahead and do that. Then we have your Daily Bounties, Field Work, Public Works, Scourge of the Taken, Lost in Ray Sylvia, and then the challenge is the Heroic Public Events. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.